What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to my Napoleon Total War Let's Play. Still haven't got used to saying it. My Napoleon Total War Let's Play as the Swedish Empire and to pick up where we left off we have quite a pivotal turn because we have the French capital and Reims under siege. And to score the brand uh, is going to be facing off against a garrison that's mostly made up of militia with a reinforcing army un under the command of Max Sense before. And they've got some pretty good units in here. A grand battery of artillery, which looks like it's going to have a very uh, <laughs> a very good amount of firepower. Plus a massive uh, brigade of cuirassiers, heavy cavalry brigade. Just going to have to be careful on this one. But let's attack the city and get ready to destroy the enemy. We're going to need to advance in steady order because the enemy will be having reinforcements. And also to make sure my men don't overexert themselves fighting the militia. And uh, for them to be, for the reinforcement army to be that much more um, exhausted from the resulting action. Hiding stronger units. So I think I want this terrain. There's nowhere good for my 12s. Because they've got a bit of a defilade there. So let's keep my 12s limbered up. With my 6s, to be honest. Let's create our Indelta Militia front line. Got two units of infantry on the right flank. Actually, you always go heavier on the right flank than the left. So let's maintain that tradition. Let's put our Svenska Gardet on the left with our Footjäger. The Howitzers are also going to advance with my General. I'm going to put my Heavy Cavalry on the right. And this Cavalry on the left. Okay. Canister shot. Is the Enemy reinforcements are coming in from the back right corner, which is pretty good. So we're not going to see anything really until we get over this hill. Enemy reinforcements coming in on the right flank. We need to make, maximize our destruction of the reinforcements. Because right now, they have a force that is a significant component what well, that significant component of their force is militia. So they can't bring their entire um, artillery power to bear. Well, not artillery power, sorry. They can't bring their reinforcement army in entirely. Really, I want this hill. And the enemy. God, that's their heavy cavalry brigade. We don't have fantastic coverage of what's going on. Get my light dragoons to run up the left. If we take this hill or well, this high ground, we can surround and engulf their militia and destroy them with my cavalry before they cause too many problems for us. I would very much like it. Fortunately, the heavy cavalry is running. Oh god, look at that for a battery. Potent. Very potent. So these units, guard mode on, cavalry stay nearer to home, the enemy infantry is bundled up, in which case our left flank do something more like this. My howitz says I want to have a bias towards the right flank. But 
turtles. Might have a shot over here, maybe. Cavalry charge. My six pounders are going to go over onto the right as well, just to provide some extra firepower. The militia are falling back, which is useful. So it's form a, a solid right flank. I'm not going to take that house. <clears throat> I don't want to dig in. On the left, my howitzers in position, so get them to unlimber. Enemy cavalry pulled back. Veteran line. To be honest, my 12s might end up trying to go all the way out here, onto the right flank. How it says, okay, they are firing. Pull my delta into square. Let's try. It. There we go. Good how it's a fire. My right flank is actually going to run. The general's bodyguard is going to go down. Okay, see if we can draw in their horse guards to charge us. Oh, I didn't don't think I swapped them quick enough. My cavalry's not gonna get as much use on this flank. I might actually pull a Hussar unit over onto the right. Standing eyeball to eyeball. <laughs> Stretch your ranks out just a little bit more. I hear a charge. You men all drop into square formation immediately. All of my infantry drop into square because that is an absolutely huge cavalry unit. We do not want to get caught out. That's the horse guards. The heavy cavalry is somewhere else. So my light dragoons push up between the houses. You get out of square. Get our light horse in to attack the partisans. The militia unit is routed. the horse guards, dragoon guards. My, my six pounders can't really do much. There we go. Not maximizing our power power, firepower very well. Keep the cavalry back.
So I try get I could get my dragoons in against them. Ooh, horse guards advancing onto that flank. No sir. My cavalry are only light. Get my light cavalry back to safety. My foot guards might have to deploy square. I do see the cavalry coming in. Advance my infantry up. Yeah, I see you, horse guards. How it says aim at the Dragoons, if you can get them. Yeah, my foot Jaeger are going to get hit by the infantry. Going to get hit by the cavalry, but that's why we're going to hopefully draw them into square. Cavalry still hidden. Yeah, they got they got hit by artillery. So drop into square. Where's my horse guards? Move them in a position to counter charge. Move them up, not at speed. There we go. Horse guards are gone. My light infantry around. Enemy cavalry is broken. Bit of friendly fire there with my howitzers. Okay, so... We have an enemy position collapse, so then advance my line. My six pounders try to get up onto this hill, my howitzers limber up, my general advance. Gotta be careful because this is their horse guard brigade. They've lost five men. Drop our units that are close into square. And my horse guards up to charge the enemy there. New men advance, my light infantry advance. New men fall into square as well. Keep a wide front. See, militia can form little basic pike squares, they're not terrible. We're going to see off this cuirassier unit. Yeah, their cavalry's upset. Let's try and isolate and destroy that regiment of partisans. These units into square because the dragoons are on their way in. How it's a uh, trundle forward. 12 pounder over on the flank. Make ready. The partisan left flank has collapsed. Get my light dragoons in against the partisans. Curassier is still sticking around. They've lost a large amount of men. Okay, these units can form line. These are foot guards, so they're not to be trifled with.
If I can knock out their infantry attack, that would be an excellent win. Bring in my light horse to knock out the partisans, because I've got a feeling my cavalry may be required to face down an enemy bayonet charge. That's why my general is going to be in the centre. No, this is it, boys. The men are fatigued, sir. I, must I know they're fatigued. They must stay in square, though. Commit the cavalry. Commit, commit, commit. Critical factor now. My general. Our men are running for Understandable. Throw my cavalry in. Three units routing under the face of the guards. I have attempted to pull that cavalry back, pull that cavalry back, and limber the howitzer. Our men are running for Get these men to fall back here. That infantry unit's upset. Get these men back here quickly. These men have to fall back to a gun line. Get my foot guards to fall back. My howitzers by a canister shot. Unfortunately, don't think we're going to get that many of our own men back. I can get you guys to fall back. You men blast that unit, get our light infantry back. Horse guards charge the infantry there. Good men. Then limber the howitzers, get them back. You men, I want to get back here. 12 pounders engage the centre. Howitzers. Get back on your horses and book it. Our men are running for. Yeah, understandable. Form. A new line. Pull my cavalry back. Unit of infantry is returning. Oh good, another unit of militia has come back. So form a great line. Our Varvade are coming back. My general, inspire your men in the centre. Continue to attack the 44th. 12 pounders in the rear, in the centre, attack the horse guards. Actually, you guys can unlimber where you are. This infantry can advance. Advance up my cavalry. Where do we have? We don't have barrage by the looks of it. it looks like we're going to have another enemy charge to contend with. Do 
Rally the men. Foot guards are shaken. Bring the cavalry in. Bring in my right flank. The guards have retreated. The cavalry brigade are broken. Okay, get my cavalry up here to try and attack the enemy artillery to the rear. Form you men off as a chamfer this end, end off a bit. Howitzer and Limber. Their guns aren't firing for whatever reason. To charge my hussars into the voltages. My light dragoons have recovered so they can march back. The voltages have been broken. Advance my infantry flank forward to get my cavalry out. You have to charge those guns because they've just opened up. My artillery and the sensors going after the... Oh, it's a lot of men lost. 12 pounders. Our men are running, sir. 12 pounders engage the artillery there. 6 pounders. My infantry advance, pretty much. Pins and move my howitzers towards them. Enemy troops on the flank have collapsed. There we go, we recovered from that. Oh, they're probably going after my hussars. And they are going after my hussars. Our men are running, sir. Ooh. You're going to have to try and go after they, those men, because I think that's going to... Attacking that gun battery is going to cost me my, my cavalry. might come back. Get my cavalry just to leave this combat, if possible. You man engage the 17th Infantry Regiment. I've got cavalry on the left that can do something, but they're not in a position to do that yet. My hussars are here, so send them on a long, on a flanking run around. Come on, just touch them. Ah, they routed again. 12 pounders. You can do some good stuff. I think we're going to need to break their infantry in the field, but it's still here. Get my general around to the right flank. Don't think they can hit these artillerymen. But they can hit that unit of militia. So these units. Spread out, you men surround the enemy. My men are confident but tired. They're probably going to do some bad stuff to my men. It's a grand battery, so it'd be great to knock them out.
Should get my cavalry to attack the seventh horse guards. You may not be enough. These troops can advance against the partisans. I mean, my six pounders could do some counter battery. Well, they could have done some counter battery if they had the range, which it looks like they don't. Ah, well, my Hussar regiment can intercept. The foot guards, they're going down. How it's is how it's isn't firing. We can engage the militia. The men are fatigued, sir. And I know they're fatigued, but look, it's a grand battery with 280 crew. You gotta chase them down. Pursue them. The rest of the force has been destroyed. Looks like that's everyone except for the partisans. Yeah, my units have routed. I got a bit brazen there, I think. I pushed up a bit too much when I shouldn't have done. I should have put my artillery in the line. It was only it was lucky I had my Ooh, that should have been a my been artillery shot. It was only lucky I had my six pounders set up in a defensive position behind my line anyway that we had somewhere to fall back to and even though infantry may break they do come back the 12s are still engaging Good stuff. Yeah, continue to attack the gunners. Leaving their precious 12 pounders behind. Our Bjornborg unit came back from routing as well. It's two of my cavalry units that have routed. Yes, continue. To kill those gunners. Come on. Let's bring Mr. Skolderbrand over to protect, to support the right flank. More experience for my hussars. Men aren't very happy because they are tired. Just form a little, little, uh, <laughs> just form a line. We don't have any need to continue our engagements against the enemy. Huzzah! So that was a hard-fought battle, but a good battle nonetheless. Lost 1,200 men, they lost nearly 4,000. Reams is ours, and we're going to loot. Loot. Oh, strange noise. Uh, Reams. Court of Appeals, yes. Uh, you guys are going to replenish. Who's left? Okay, I might nip forward and kill and kill them because they've got the cuirassier there in reserve. This game has weird sounds. Oh yeah, because this is now our territory. We can push. 
Okay, where's my... Do, 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 do. Oh, my God, one of my spies is over here looking at what's going on in the east. Strasbourg is ripe for the taking. Put them under siege for now. Arnold, Armel Granville. Eh. Put him. Yeah, no, I'd like. I'd like the troops. I could have taken it, but I'm. I'm. I'm being aggressive enough. I think on the, in the west. I have no idea why it brings these weird sound effects. So you're going to be okay for a turn. Then Mr. Von Essen, we're going to attack the French in the in the city of Paris, and they fortunately have a lot of light foot. Obviously, they've got some good units, but they don't have any grand batteries. That's something to be thankful for. They have some good generals, and the odds are stacked squarely against us, um, supposedly. But let's see. I should really have. A force backing them up, but there we go. I'm playing... I'm getting a bit cocky, I must admit. Um, because I've fought a bunch of battles that I've not really relied on reinforcements. Uh, terrain isn't great. That's a nice hill. But it's not ours. There just aren't very many good positions for us. So that's like a mine, I would guess. I know. Uh, Delta militia. I oh, know, I haven't got much militia in this army, actually. Oh, very well. Got some Finnish troops. That's going to be our front line and our right flank. We're going to put a lifeguard. To Bjornborg. On the left, Vavade. We've got notionally they're two light infantry units, but this uh, it looks like a light infantry unit. The Lat infantry. But they, they're like a regular infantry unit. So I've got two heavy cavalry units. So I think I'm going to do a similar set of tactics to what I did in the last action. Where my artillery advances behind the line till we get to a suitable position um, or we need to fall back for whatever reason. And take cover. Artillery is opening up. Push my six pounders up, push my twelves up, because fundamentally there isn't anywhere really good to put them. I mean, the right flank would be great, but curious to see where the reinforcements are coming in from. I mean, I don't know why they always do this, and they must be killing some of their own men here. When my howitzer gets to here, I'm probably going to unlimber. Just to see if we can shoot them from this range with howitzers. I mean, I can get my dragoons up onto this hill. Lots of light horse. Unlimber. Should probably have dropped it more here. Well, let's see. It looks like uh, they're going to let our line advance. Ooh, big frame rate drop. Idle, not in combat. But let's see if that changes. They're completely unnumbered. It does not look like it. Well, no, there we go. We can shoot. I mean, that could be huge. Or not. I 
front rank advance. We've attracted the attention of their cavalry. So we do have enemy reinforcements coming in, but or well, they will be coming in. Well, I mean that might not be might not be a terrible position for my twelves. My six is just going to act as an anchor for my uh, my force howitzers. Shoot at the infantry clump. I don't think they've done any, done any damage to me yet. All my units look pretty intact. Maintain the advance. Might have to make the left run a bit just to get them to catch up. To be honest, my front line is all hidden. So they're not going to know my front line's here until they start shooting. Still hidden, still hidden, still hidden. So I might take these units and push around the around the um, the mine. Horse guards are committing. There we go, we've poured a, a volley in. Their infantry isn't committing yet. My light infantry probably be able to get some engagements off. Yep, they have. Yeah, looks like they're going to be a bit stumped. I don't know why they're not committing their infantry. Committing their cavalry though, it's all gonna it's all a bit messy really, they're not quite sure where they want to put it. Okay, you guys square. You run into that unit, you run into that unit. Once they've been engaged, a unit can't form square. So that's why you need to uh, do this sort of running maneuver. Run my men into the centre of the next square. There we go. I mean, this is the darndest thing. So we're currently just fending off attacks from their cavalry. I mean, the cavalry could come back. Okay, their infantry might start to do something now. So 
see if you men can push past the mine on that side. Yeah, the cavalry is returned. Bar Dragoons have the high ground. Which happens, I want these guys to hopefully route and for you men to safely make it past the mine. Why can't you form square? Oh, because there's a... They got bumped into by a cavalryman. So you men advance up across around this mine. General staff's all the way at the back. Keep fending off the enemy cavalry. New men run, my light horse attack the general staff. Howitzers keep engaging the block of men. Because these men need to get in to slam the door shut on any ideas they might have of a offensive. Enemy general's been knocked out. I limber my twelves, but hold them, hold their ground. Yeah, my sixes could probably, if I move my general, they can fire through this gap into the uh, the block of men. It looks like that's where they're going to try and push as well. Commit some of my cavalry. Six pounders are unlimbered, so begin engaging. Stop shelling the bejesus out of them. Light horse go after general staff. Some of their men look like they're falling back into the town. Enemy reinforcements coming in from a kind of unfortunate direction, but not critical. I want to say that those guys are getting... Engage the light foot because you're heavy cavalry. Engage the general's bodyguard to ease up on their ease their decisions to uh, fall back. You men might stay here actually. Do something like this. Be aware of the mine. The Twelve might be able to attack in the centre. It's one routing general staff unit. Get you meant to attack that unit of infantry de Leger. You men. I mean, they're sturdy. They're very sturdy. These Frenchmen. We have killed 
Good, who's that? Horse guard, Curacier. The e men engage the foot guards here. When they collapse, they'll collapse in significant numbers. is it's trying to maintain this perpendicular aspect ratio that you need if you can knock out the light foot that'd be great the sappers are going as well well they're collapsing as well pull the cavalry back out of the town they've gained a bit of experience Like this unit isn't even shooting anyone. Such a massive crossfire. Maintain the squeeze. That's part of the problem. I think Sir, Sir, our general is under attack. I think my twelve pounders might be that's a bad idea. Cavalry's running into the town. This unit needs to drop into square because they're coming for him. Okay, good. We're starting to see a collapse. So even though it's not very efficient, I mean, I'm assuming that's a mine. That's what a mine is and everything else. My sixes can cease fire as well because that direct line of sight will just blow through the backs of these and delta and finish troops. Cavalry is exhausted so I'm not going to charge in towards the enemy. I will trot these guys over towards the guns, though. There we go, they're holding them off. My men have to attack this carabiner now. But we're finally seeing the precipitous decline that we wanted to see. These foot guards going down. Oh no, they've not they've gone out they've come out of square formation. Our men are running for understandable. The light foot have come back, the 27th have come back. And my general over onto the right flank. Destroyed the enemy artillery. The horse guards are still here. Now my horse guards are routing as well. Take these men back like so. I'm 
going to have to charge my light horse and my dragoons into the horse guard here, the Gros Frere. Counting on their them being tired, my men are fresh. No, General. I think we might be successful in seeing the, the freshness of our troops counteract their heavy cavalry. Especially as they can't run away. Okay, that's enough. My center or position expand. There we go. My horse guards are back, but they are very badly damaged. The light foot units come back. Voltage, light foot. what I want to do. It's a bit dangerous. I want to stretch my line out like so. want to get infantry curving around their flank. I might have to run my troops. Yeah, my lifeguard. They might come back. Twenty-fourth light foot shaken. Wavering broken. Maintain the attack. Pull my cavalry back because they're broken and exhausted. My men are tired. Oh, that's not quite the target, is it? There we go. Big collapse on the flank. My dragoons have to attack the Voltageur. Hey, my yeah, my elites did come back. So these guys may or may not beat the Voltageur. No, their volleys wasn't were enough to break my cavalry. Fair enough. Go. That the cavalry charge was enough to break the light foot. Pull this cavalry unit back. They broke as well because they're very tired. They'll probably come back though. So these are sappers and the grenadiers. There's a hill in the way. How it's as limber up. Yeah, my cavalry came back. Oh, artillery crew that abandoned their guns. My cavalry can trot after them. 
Third foot guards, 8th Regiment of Horse. New men get ready to face off against the new incoming, re the incoming reinforcements. In fact, that's where my grenadiers, or my, my retreated, or my, rec my recovered um, elite troops can get back to. Who's this? Horse artilleryman. Bold. <laughs> Horse artillery have been defeated on the right flank. It's a voltage voltage company that came back. March my dragoons wide. Going to engage the enemy. A foot infantry unit. It is. Send my cavalry after them. If my cavalry breaks, so be it. Surround and destroy these voltages. There we go. Couldn't stop both my cavalry units at once. So let's advance them up towards the last, the fifth light foot. My cavalry might rout against an infantry unit. Ooh, that's an ugly line. Yeah, my cavalry might rout against... Oh, they are light foot, so they aren't spectacular. And these are horse guards. There we go. I think these guardsmen... There we go, the guard have finally fallen. Ah, they did break on the right flank. I'll get everyone else into the town like so. Mr. Von Essen. There we go, there goes the light foot. Going to surround and destroy this unit of conscripts. Brave souls, but not enough. My cavalry could charge in and kill them now, actually. Although they're winded. Do it. Sir, your general has been killed. No! Oh, no! St didn't see the stakes. Oh, well. A new force. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Damn it. If they were just a bit slower moving across the field, he'd still be alive. For 900 men, we knocked out a force of 4,500 Frenchmen. It cost us our general, but he died at the gates of Paris. And we're going to peacefully occupy because I don't want us to deal with too many re rebels, especially as I've got plenty of cash as it is. There we go, let's get some repairs done. Let's fortify Paris because why not? We can't build new roads. Change the building type to a supply warehouse because Paris is quite big. I want to improve my resupply ability. Well, it gains me a massive amount of um, uh, of a replenishment rate. 
over a huge area. But we must first pick a new general. Nestigrun Alnquis. He has a taste for battle. You will need it, my friend. You will need it. So my spy is going to go towards... Maybe towards northern Italy, because it's, it should be fairly simple for one army to knock out Khan and Ren, push on down to Bordeaux, while we try and maintain a hold on Paris. We're going to get rid of the clamour for reform. Let's get rid of taxes. Even though it will very much... I'd like the tax money, I don't need it. So you can... Maybe this force, maybe Mr. Backstrom, your job can be to advance towards Khan. Because once this Reem's force is replenished, he, he can then take a bit of a holding position here in the east. But still, goddammit, that's Paris! Paris taken! Good stuff. Get rid of the university. Pretty sure that's the only one. Yeah, Orleon. Yep, that one's done. Um, yeah, but looking at the time, I'm going to take a break. Because that's two quite meaty battles done. And Napoleon, who's over... We was near Brussels. I can only assume he's gone this way. Um, he's lost his homeland. It now belongs to the Swedish Empire. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Sweden. Cheers, everyone.